Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to create this really crazy text animation inside DaVinci Resolve. So this is going to be quite fun and uh, I guess you'll learn something new as well. So let's see. So the first thing we'll do is drag in our text node and let's view this and then start typing your text. I'm going to type in good wipes only and notice that I didn't put any space in between and that is because I want this animation to be kind of seamless. So you can put the space as well. It's just completely up to you. So the next thing we'll do is change the font. So let's go with the Helvetica new way LT font. So I'm going to select that and from the font wheel, I'm going to choose black condensed. I really like the font and I'm going to stick with this. I'm just going to put this in the top left corner. We can zoom in and just like, you know, be precise with the positioning and reduce the font size as well like this and put this in the corner. I'm going to keep it at this font size for now. After this text plus node, we'll add a duplicate node. Type in DUP, you get the duplicate. Click on add. Let's view this on the right side. I'm going to change the number of copies to let's do 15. Change the center Y. Create your text so you have like 15 copies of it. And we want to fill this area. So maybe we'll just set this to 20. Um, I think that is enough. Let me just uh, pull this down a little bit on the center Y. Right after the duplicate node, we'll add another duplicate node. Click on add. Let's view this and we'll change the number of copies to I guess four. And then in the center X, we'll just change the position and bring it to the right side and you need to like put them really close to one another like something like this and when you put it you can see that you have the empty space over here so we need to fill in this empty space so we can just put this text on the edge on the right edge over here and then we can go back to our text and we can maybe change the or increase the font size a little bit and bring it back in the center go back to the duplicate tool and pull it back in so you just have to fine tune the settings over here and try to get a seamless duplicate copies of your text right so for this tutorial i think that is looking pretty okay i would have still gone inside and you know just pulled it a little bit closer and made sure that there is no empty space on the right edge just take your time with this so yeah, once you have your text after you duplicate hit your spacebar and type in our favorite shape 3d click on add let's take a look at it and this is how it is going to look we'll change the shape from plane to cylinder we'll increase the base subdivisions and the height subdivisions so that we have a crispier looking text and then we can reduce the radius of our cylinder so maybe something like that but you can obviously play with different values and then in the shape 3d we'll go to the transform and uh, in the x we'll type in negative 90 so you can see we have a tunnel going through after the shape 3d we'll do add another node which is renderer 3d click on add and what this will do is convert your 3d scene back into 2d so yeah this is what will be rendered when you render your animation let's go back into the shape 3d and we can like zoom into this and that's how we can create a tunnel animation so let's move our playhead to the very first frame zoom in a little bit so our text is just you know outside the scene over here so maybe something like that we'll create a keyframe move to the very end and increase the z value so maybe something like that so we'll have an animation like this that right, looks pretty cool so the next thing we're going to do is after the shape 3d let's add merge 3d to this merge 3d click on add and on this merge 3d we'll add a spotlight know it to this first of all let's go to the render 3d and make sure you have enabled the lightning and the shadows right so let's go to the spotlight and let's take a look at the merge 3d on the left side on the shape 3d as well we go to the material and we make sure that we check the two-sided option and then you will be able to see your spotlight affecting your shape 3d so let's go to the transform and uh, change the z position so you can see that when you increase the z value we have that spotlight affecting our shape then we'll in the spotlight go to controls we'll change the decay type to quadratic and we'll reduce the decay rate it's like adds a gradient to your whole uh, shape which just really sells the effect i mean like you can just play with different settings all right so to change the color you can do it right over here there you have your animation or oh, one more thing we can do is go to our shape 3d go to transform and we can do a rotation as well so create a keyframe on rotation z go to the end and just rotate it let's do it on the right side something like that and play this 
I think that's a bit too fast so let's slow it down a little now uh, one more crazy thing that you can do is after the shape 3d hit your spacebar and type in bender 3d click on add this node is really crazy I mean just take a look at this this is our bender 3d over here and let me just zoom back out a little rotate a little okay so on the bender 3d we have these different types of bends that you want let's go with the bend and uh, let's change the amount so you can like bend your uh, shape and you can change the axis that you want to bend and that, that is really crazy I mean let's change the bend amount and take a look at that whoa it just bends your shape just makes it really distorted and you can just animate through this bendy looking uh, tunnel I mean the possibilities are really endless with this you can change the center uh, I mean that is also a really crazy thing that you can do again in the bender 3d let's reset this back and we can go with a twist twist it in any way that you want let's go with X and see what that does let's go with the Z and change the amount take a look at that we have a tornado kind of looking tunnel <laughs> just really distorts and creates a really abstract looking animation and you can even animate it and that's that's really crazy and that's a really powerful node you have there so yeah that is pretty much it for this video guys i'll just leave this up to your creativity just go crazy with this play around and create a really different animation i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one